Okay, I'm going to do my brief introduction in my very bumbling way. I'm not very good at this. That's my disclaimer, but I'm going to do my best. So I want to welcome everybody. Lovely to see you all. And thank you so much for joining this retreat. And of course, welcome Venerable Yuntin, who's very, very kind in sharing it with us. Venerable Yuntin was ordained in 2003. She has studied intensively, engaged in retreat, and offered service working and teaching at Dharma centers in India and Taiwan, as well as Australia and New Zealand. She's been an in-depth registered teacher within the Foundation for the Preservation of Mahayana Tradition since 2012. Currently, Venerable Yuntin divides her time as a touring teacher and retreat leader as well as annually offering the Buddha Dharma from a secular perspective in Israel as a member of the Buddhist faculty for a seven-year postgraduate program called Human Spirit, which is a Buddhist psychoanalytic training program. Land of Medicine Buddha is very fortunate to have a connection with Venerable Yuntin and hopes she will honor us with her presence for a long time to come. I certainly do hope that. Okay. And then I will put in the chat um, how to make donations to both Land of Medicine Buddha and Venerable Yuntin. Because we're not meeting in person due to COVID, we do that all virtually now. So I'm gonna, I'll put that in the chat. If you have questions about it, please feel free to ask me. And please, please enjoy. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks so much. And uh, so nice to see you all. And it's wonderful to get to do practice together, um, all individually by ourselves, as well as together um, simultaneously. I think it's a really special way to get to do practice. So thanks for coming. And we'll be doing Green Tara today, as you know, which is the lower Tantra, Kriya Tantra, Action Tantra version of Tara. And I'll be leading it in an open way. So whether you have the empowerment or you don't have the empowerment, it will be appropriate to do this practice. The only thing you really need is some sense of Buddhist refuge and respect for Tantra. So that's how I'll be leading it today. And we're gonna do this method that some of you are used to by now with my little short weekend deity retreats where it's the practice one session, just the practice meditation, me leading you through it. And then a little break, and then we'll do a kind of an explanation of the practice going through different sections, unpacking the iconography, unpacking the mantra and the symbolism, and kind of looking at the psychology behind Tantra as well with time for Q&A. And then we'll have lunch or whatever part of the world you're in, a break. And um, then we'll do the practice again, just nice and hopefully more deeply. And then we'll do again explanation of another part of the text and uh, time for Q&A. So it'll go like that. And tomorrow we'll have more in depth about the 21 Taras. I, I know some of you are curious about the 21 Taras and their origin, their symbolism, their meaning, what the kind of uh, purpose of these practices are. And then we'll go ahead and do a Tara Puja if you're in the mood for a Tara Puja. So that's what we'll do tomorrow. And that should be good fun as well. So for this session, we're just gonna do the green Tara Sadhana and I'll do share screen so you don't have to dig out your text. Um, it's been emailed to you to look at afterwards, but uh, for now it'll just appear as if by magic on your screen. So just take a minute and settle into a meditation posture. So just, Really be aware of your body, be aware of your space, and allow yourself to become grounded. And you can start by scanning through the body, starting at the crown of the head, working your way down to the tip of the toes, allowing any tension or tightness to release and relax. Imagining bones coming into alignment, muscles relaxing, nothing clenched.
And as the body settles, you can gradually shift your focus to the breath, using the breath as your focal objects, and in this way, allowing surface distractions to settle. And we'll start with a glance meditation on the graduated path. I take refuge in the holy guru, essence of all Buddhas, original grantor of all holy teachings and the Lord of all supreme beings. Please guru Buddhas, bestow on me the ability to unify my mind with the Dharma and to be successful in practicing Dharma in order to achieve the graduated path. May no hindrances occur while achieving this path. Please bless me to realize that I received a perfect human rebirth, which is highly meaningful, for many reasons difficult to obtain, but perishable, transient, and fragile, decaying in the shortest moment because of its changeable nature. Thus my death is definite, but its actual time is most indefinite. And after death, I am far more likely to be reborn in the lower suffering realms, having created infinitely more negative than positive karma in this life and in all previous lives. Letting your mind reconnect with your perfect human rebirth, its impermanence, the inevitability of death, and a very healthy, non-anxious type of fear that recognizes genuinely that the percentage of time spent in negative actions often outweighs those spent in positive actions. And there is no use or need for guilt, just a gentle awareness to motivate us to shift those percentages. Please bless me to comprehend how incredibly unendurable is the suffering of the lower realms, that I might take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha with all my heart, and realize the evolution of karma in all its profundity, that I might perform only virtuous actions and abandon all negative creations. And so whether we believe in the literal lower realms, animals, hungry ghosts, hell beings, or whether we view these as metaphors. In either case, we know that there are beings that suffer far more than we do. People suffering with addiction, people suffering with mental health issues, people suffering from domestic violence, people with all types of illnesses, inner and outer obstacles. And all of these conditions could become ours within a second. And so we take refuge in the Buddha as the doctor, the Dharma as the medicine, the Sangha as the nurses to prevent us from falling into these suffering states. By practicing in this way, I will be reborn in the upper realms, but will still have to experience unlimited samsaric suffering because of uncontrolled delusion and karma. 
Please bless me to realize fully the evolution of samsara, from uncontrolled rebirth to death to rebirth, and to follow day and night the three higher trainings of the path, higher conduct, higher concentration, and higher wisdom, which are the main methods to release me from samsara. And so with positive states of mind and positive behaviors, we create the cause for more positive experiences, more happiness, but we still don't have full control over our life, our situation, even our moods. And so we need to understand samsara cyclic existence, the way it progresses, the way it can end. But as each sentient being has been my mother, and as of most of them are in extreme suffering, please bless me to bring success to all by renouncing the perfect happiness of self and practicing the bodhisattva's deeds of the six perfections with the bodhisattva's mind of exchanging self with others on the basis of the equanimity meditation. Thus, I shall have no sorrow in experiencing the samsaric suffering of all other sentient beings for no matter how long, having trained my mind in the general path. And so elevating your motivation to the Mahayana, striving towards full, complete Buddhahood in order to be of greatest benefit to not just oneself, but all others. and reviving your connection with any of your previous studies about how to achieve that enlightenment, practice of the six perfections, equalizing and exchanging self-cherishing for cherishing others, the firm foundation of equanimity, unbiased goodwill towards all, as if you're mentally highlighting those topics in your mind, reviving them, bringing them to the forefront. Please bless me to follow the quick Vajrayana teachings by feeling sentient beings suffering, very unimaginably unbearable for even the shortest moment as my own, and to achieve the attainment of Shakyamuni Buddha immediately at this very moment by keeping my ordinations and the instructions of the Guru with the best and highest care in life for the sole purpose of enlightening all sentient beings. And so we imagine that all sentient beings sufferings becomes clear to us that we see the spectrum of pain and that we find that unbearable, not because it's painful to us, not because we're identifying with it, but because we see it with an eye of compassion. And not just regular compassion, but great compassion it takes responsibility to help free others from suffering. And not just great compassion, but bodhicitta, which personally decides to work for our own enlightenment in order to help all sentient beings achieve theirs. And we add to that the urgency of Tantra that sentient beings are suffering right now 
and our ability to benefit them right now is limited. But it wouldn't be as limited if we were a Buddha. And so bringing a sense of urgency to our path. No time to waste. No time to lose. So imbued with that whole path to enlightenment, we now visualize. Start by visualizing above the crown of your head, a lotus and a moon disc. Upon these is the great treasury of compassion, Aryatara, mother of all sentient beings, who is oneness with my kind root guru. My guru is seated in the full lotus position within a transparent bubble of rainbow colored light, is pink in complexion and wears saffron robes and a pandan's hat. His right hand is at his heart in the gesture of teaching the Dharma and holds a vajra and stem of a white lotus that blooms beside his right ear. His left hand rests on his hip it holds a bell and the stem of another white lotus that blooms beside his left ear. Stabilizing that. Sphere of rainbow light, our root guru at the center. And whether you can visualize this clearly above your crown or not, have the strong sense of the presence of the guru the teacher, the instruction ability of the divine with you right now, for you right now. That this teacher embodies and represents every single teacher, every single enlightened being, and just happens to take this form At my guru's heart is Aryatara in female aspect, green in color and seated in the dancing posture within a rainbow bubble. Her left leg is bent up and her right leg is outstretched. Her left hand is at her heart in the mudra symbolizing the triple gem and holding the stem of a blue Utpali flower. Her right hand extended over her right knee is in the mudra of granting sublime realizations. She is beautifully adorned with jeweled ornaments and scarves, and at her three places bears the syllables Om, Ah, Hum. Stabilizing that. The heart of the guru is Aryatara, both above the crown of your own head.
At her heart is a lotus and moon seat on which stands a radiant green syllable tum. Rays of green light radiate in all directions from the tum and invoke all the enlightened beings of the 10 directions. They are all absorbed into Tara and become one. And with awareness of Tara at your crown, make this heartfelt request. Please remain above my head until I receive enlightenment. Thinking that she hears you, understands absolutely, agrees. And reciting aloud, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. With my body, speech, and mind, I devoutly prostrate. I offer all offerings, both real and imagined. All sins and offenses amassed from beginningless time, I confess. I rejoice in all virtuous actions of holy and ordinary beings. O oh, gurus and Buddhas, please remain until samsara ends and turn the wheel of dharma for sentient beings. All my virtues and those of all others, I dedicate to the great enlightenment. This ground anointed with perfume strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha field and offer it May all living beings enjoy this pure land. The objects of my attachment, aversion, and ignorance, friends, enemies, and strangers, and my body, wealth, and enjoyments. Without any sense of loss, I offer this collection. Please accept it with pleasure and bless me with freedom from the three poisons. Yadam guru ratnam and requesting Tara above your head. Please bless me to purify all obscurations, non-virtues of my body, so it will become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra body. And then visualize that in response, white light emanates from the Om at Arya Tara's brow and curves in an arc to enter my brow. My body is purified completely of all obscurations and becomes one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra body. Stabilizing that. As the white light travels from her to you, feel the body is becoming soothed and purified and healed. That the negative actions you've created in the past physically, those of killing, those of stealing, those of sexual misconduct are actively regretted and immediately remedied 
by this stream of white light. And you can add to the visualization the mantra of Tara. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha. 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 Om Tare. Tu tare tu re so ha. 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 Om tare tu tare tu re soha. Om tare tu tare tu re soha. Continuing the mantra under your breath. Om tare tu tare tu re soha. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha. And then request, please bless me to purify all obscurations of my speech so that it will become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra speech. And in response, visualize that red light emanates from the A ah at Arya Tara's throat and curves in an arc to enter my throat. My speech is purified completely of all obscurations and becomes one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra speech, stabilizing that. This warm red light purifying all negativities of speech, purifying lying, divisive speech, harsh speech, idle gossip. With firm regret, you then purify this light being the remedy And this light soothes and heals. It brings power to your voice. And so stabilize the visualization imbued with these thoughts of purification and add the mantra om tare tu tare tu re so ha om tare tu tare tu re so ha om tare tu tare tu re so ha om tare Tu tare tu re so ha. Om tare. 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 
Tu tare tu re so ha. Om tare tu tare tu re so ha. Om tare tu tare tu re so ha. Keeping the mantra under your breath, together with the visualization and ideas. Om tare tu tare tu re so ha. And then we request, please bless me to purify all obscurations of my mind so that it will become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra mind. And in response, we visualize that blue light emanates from the whom at Arya Tara's heart, curves in an arc to enter my heart center. My mind is purified of all obscurations and becomes one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra mind. Stabilize that visualization. We purify the mind by generating regret for negativities of mind, such as covetousness, all things related to attachment, ill will, and all things related to anger, the wish to harm, and wrong views, ignorance, We think these states of mind are natural, they're habitual, but they are not necessary and they don't serve our purpose of enlightenment. They're removable. And so with regret for those states of mind, we also challenge their habit. We challenge our idea that they have to be there. We stop justifying and excusing them, but rather start to confront them and uproot them gently and gradually. And so this blue light from Tara soothes and purifies and heals. Imagine it settling the mind, relaxing it into spaciousness. And we add the mantra to the visualization and ideas. Om tare tu tare tu re so ha. 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 Om tare. Tu tare tu re so ha. Om tare. Tu tare tu re so ha. Om tare. Tu tare tu re so ha. Om tare tu tare tu re so ha. Continuing under the breath, together with the visualization.
Om Tare Tutare Ture Soha. And we request, please bless me to purify all delusions and subtle obscurations to omniscience so that my body, speech, and mind will become one with Guru Tara's holy body, holy speech, and holy mind. And we visualize that in response, three colored light emanates simultaneously from the Om, Ah, and Hum syllables, curving in an arc and entering my three places, completely purifying all my delusions and subtle obscurations to omniscience. My body, speech, and mind become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy body, holy speech, and holy mind. Stabilizing that. And focus mainly on the light, thinking all subtle obscurations are being cleared and purified. Trying not to allow doubt to creep in, we are taking the result as the path, ripening through rehearsal. So adopt the attitude that you're becoming completely free of all of these even subtle delusions and obscurations. White light from her brow to your brow. Red light from her throat to your throat. Blue light from her heart center to your heart center. Purify body, speech, and mind. And then my root guru dissolves into Aryatara, who melts into green light, which flows into me. Instantly, my wrong conception that I and all other phenomena are self-existent, together with my dualistic mind and its view, disappear, becoming completely empty, not a trace of them remains. And you concentrate one-pointedly in this empty state, lacking inherent existence with the wisdom that is indistinguishably one with Guru Tara's blissful omniscient mind. The guru dissolving into Tara. Completely dissolving. And see if you can abide in a mind somewhat free from dualism, not making the ideas of subject and object concrete in any way. 
not grasping at inherent existence. Or just imagine that that's a case. The lack of inherent existence being like the space of infinite possibility, not a barren void of nothing, but a place of potentiality. Then, out of emptiness, my wisdom manifests instantly as Arya Tara's holy body seated upon a lotus and moon cushion. But if you don't have the empowerment, visualize that out of emptiness, Arya Tara appears in the space in front, facing you. At the heart of Arya Tara, is another lotus and moon, upon which in the center stands the syllable Tam, surrounded in a clockwise direction by the syllables of the mantra, Om Tare Tu Tare Ture Soha. The Tam and the mantra are manifestations of Guru Tara's holy mind, with which my mind is totally united. Green light radiates from all the letters, spreading in every direction. It purifies the negative karmas, gross delusions, and subtle obscurations to omniscience of all sentient beings who become Tara. Again, light radiates, bearing manifold offerings to the six transcendental senses of all the Buddhas and sentient beings who have become Tara. The enlightened beings are extremely pleased and shower down the superlative qualities of Buddha Tara's holy body, holy speech, and holy mind. Omniscient wisdom, supreme power, and infinite compassion in the form of a great shower of light rays. As I recite the mantra, I absorb and am blessed by this rain. Om Tare Tu Tare Ture Soha. And so stabilize Tara in the space in front if you don't have the empowerment or yourself as Tara if you do. Without the empowerment, develop a strong aspiration to become Tara in the future, knowing that you have Buddha nature, which can become that. If you do have the empowerment, develop divine pride together with this clear appearance. And the mantra at the heart center of Tara, either yourself or the one in front. Tom at the center. Green light rays going out, first purifying all sentient beings, setting them in the state of Tara. And then again, sending out offerings to all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. And then the light comes back 
blessing your body, speech, and mind. So light in, light out, again and again, together with the mantra. Om tare tu tare tu re so ha. 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 Continuing the mantra together with these visualizations and ideas. Om tare tu tare tu re so ha. And then we dedicate. May I quickly become Guru Aryatara, Pagma Droma, and lead each and every sentient being into her enlightened state because of these merits. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that is not arisen arise and grow. And may that which has arisen not diminish but increase more and more. And you can relax your attention. Okay. So we'll have a half hour break and um, then we'll talk about the sadhana, just going through the different steps. Later in the retreat, we'll talk about the symbolism and the mantra and things like that. But next session, we're mainly gonna be talking about 
each section of the sadhana and kind of what to do there. So if you got stuck or if you got lost anywhere or if there were phrases within the sadhana that were confusing, make a little note during this break time so that you can ask and we can have just an open discussion about that. So um, see you in half an hour. <laughs>